Hey guys, how is everybody doing? And today we are going to be talking about Alien vs. Predator. Again. Now the reason I say again in my little intro I just did is because back in 2022, back when I first started doing YouTube and started making videos on YouTube, sort of doing reviews on YouTube, back when Prey was releasing back on Hulu back in 2022, I decided to do a little Predator review series, which are still up on my channel, and my so-called review on Predator is still one of my most viewed videos on my channel for some reason. I don't know why. But, since I did those little reviews, that is, those are videos I am not proud of, I do not consider those reviews of the movies, those are back when I was first joining YouTube and first just doing it, back when I wouldn't really review the movie, I would more only express my nitpicks and negatives about the movie, and I was like, hmm, if people only knew my negatives and nitpicks, then people will know everything else is positive, right? But no, I hated that I did that, and I really wish I could go back in time and just slap myself across the face and be like, no, that's a bad tanner, bad. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited to re-review these, uh, these next two movies with Alien vs. Predator and Aliens vs. Predator. Requiem. I have a bit of a history with that movie on my channel. But with all all out of the way, let's talk about Alien vs. Predator officially this time. And I am technically counting this as my first ever Predator review. I don't care what old fans will say. This is my first Predator review. And that's what I want to think about it as. And starting off with my positives on Alien vs. Predator, or AVP for short, is seeing the return of Lance Hendrickson playing Bishop from Aliens. He returns in this movie as Bishop once again, to where we find out, like I ranted at the end of my video on Alien 3, to where we find out that Bishop is actually just a very smart scientist, and he built an AI version of himself for Aliens. And we get to see him return in this movie to where he's trying to look for this some sort of temple or whatever so he hires these bunch of people uh, these bunch of people that uh know certain things about like discovering things knowing what will come in like a temple or whatever so he ha hires this girl who is a some sort of leader of some sort and then you get this guy from Mexico who is a land explorer and tries to find items as like rewards or money or something whatever he brings all these uh, these characters in and it's just cool to see lance hendrickson back in the in the alien series and kind of the predator series in a way to where this technically is is uh considered a predator movie as i like to think of it as but to see lance hendrickson come back for another alien movie and to come in for a predator movie it was just cool to see him come in and bishop he's just a cool character he's one of my favorite characters in aliens until the alien 3 decided to ruin that character for me but it's just cool to see bishop come in for this movie and speaking of returns, we get to see the return of the Queen Alien. Now, technically, yes, she did show up in Alien Resurrection, but I don't really count that. She's barely in the movie, and she gets killed by that human alien thing, but I don't know how she comes back in this when she technically died at the end of Resurrection. But I won't question it. I will not question it, because like I talked about in, in my Aliens review, the Queen Alien is just one of the coolest creature designs, one of the coolest alien uh, alien creatures ever. I just absolutely love that Queen Alien. It's just one of the coolest things ever in my mind. It's just so badass and creepy and just all of the above uh, from that. And to see her come back officially for uh, from Aliens to where she's kind of like the big bad of the movie and that whole fight sequence that we get with the predator and the queen alien at the end that was just a lot of fun and it was pretty goofy but it was just so much fun to watch but yeah seeing the queen alien come back for another alien movie and to fight the predator at the end of the movie that was just so much fun it was just really cool to see her come back now technically i'm talking about it like it's an actor or an actress or whatever but just that creature and that design alone i just absolutely love it and it's just badass to see come back Let's talk about the title of the movie and the whole reason we're all here, and that is the actual Alien vs. Predator that we get in this movie, and when we do get it, it is so much fun to watch, it is just, it's just so much fun, honestly, the fight scenes are just so much fun, it's just everything you could probably hope for, for an Alien vs. Predator sequence to where this movie definitely delivers on that, sure, it doesn't fully deliver on that, it doesn't fully live up to its title but the actual fights that we do get with the alien and the predators are just 
so much fun to watch. And then we find out that the the Predators and Aliens actually go back to Roman times to when they first started fighting, which kind of ruins the whole continuity. But basically, every sequel and every other Predator or Alien movie is boycotted that, which I think is hilarious. But yeah, just that first fight that we go with the Alien vs. Predator to where... They're, to where he like cuts off the tail and then the aliens just like whipping acid at him at first it's just it's just fun like it, it doesn't take itself seriously it's just it's just fun it's like playing a video game it's kind of like a mortal Kombat fight which actually you can do that in mortal Kombat now but yeah just those fight scenes the first one that we go just one alien and one predator just like two regular ones just fighting it out it was just fun to see that, and like I already briefly talked about with the Queen Alien and the Predator fighting at the end of the movie, it's just so much fun. It's It doesn't take itself seriously, but why should it? It's literally just two of the coolest creature designs just going head-to-head, -head, which came actually from a comic book series that I've never read, but I want to read them. But yeah, I thought uh, those fight sequences were just so much fun. It was just it's just fun. If you're looking for that, you're definitely going to get it, but very briefly. I don't know why, but when I watched this movie this time on this most recent rewatch, uh, re not we watch, <laughs> we watch, on the most recent rewatch of this movie for me, I kind of like that, uh, The I kind of appreciated the whole thing to where it doesn't matter when you watch this movie, kind of like as I'm doing right now, I'm binging the Alien series and this is also a Predator movie, but if you're binging the Alien movies, there's still just enough, there's enough there for the Alien fans and something that they've been binging throughout the entire, t uh, this entire time, so you're still gonna get Aliens, but even if you haven't rewatched the Predator movies or watched the Predator movies when at this point when you're watching Alien vs. Predator, you don't really need to watch the Predator movies to get in the mood for to see the Predators, because the Predators are just so cool characters to where, like, you just get invested with them just from this mood where you don't even need to watch the other predator movies to kind of understand what's going on with this character and you don't really need to be in the mood for a predator uh of alien vs predator movie to kind of have fun with the predators in a way to where i just really appreciated that to where you can even just watch this movie just as its own without watching an alien or a predator movie beforehand to where you can just have fun with just the movie itself to where if you're binge watching the alien movies you're gonna get the alien stuff and you're going to get the Predator stuff that you haven't seen yet. But if you're binge-watching the Predator series and you get to this point, then there's still enough there for Alien fans, too, but there's also just enough for Predator fans. Like, I don't know why, but on the most recent rewatch, that really caught my eye, and that really just made me appreciate the movie more. But I've never noticed that now, but maybe since I'm doing a review series and binging the Alien series, and I just caught on to that. I was like, you know what? That's cool that they kind of did that. Or maybe this is... Maybe that wasn't intended, but that's just the feeling I got when I watched it. But, and speaking of the Predators, the Predators are awesome, as always. One of the coolest creature designs, probably the coolest uh, alien-ish creature design ever. I absolutely love the Predators in this movie. They're still badass, they're still deadly when they fight the aliens. They're awesome. The main Predator we get when he puts like the little T thing on his head, he's just so cool. Especially the sequence where the one final girl kind of like turns around he's just standing there and he just like pushes a button and, and the full spear comes out just like chills it's just like oh so badass and that and i will say this Everybody always says the Predators are ugly. I thought they just looked scary. Never in my life I went, oh, that looks ugly. I go, oh, God, that looks scary. Never in my life have I thought a, a Predator is ugly. I don't know why people think that, but maybe just because Arnold Schwarzenegger said it. I blame him. I'm just kidding. Arnold Schwarzenegger is my favorite. Don't hurt me. Moving on to my mixed aspects, and that is the characters. Again, like I talked about with Resurrection. Not that they're not dis not it's not because they're dislikable or not memorable. It's just that when when you're going to Alien vs Predator, you're not looking for characters. You're not watching this for characters. You're not you're not, that's not what you're going for this movie for. You're watching this movie and you're going into this movie for to see aliens and a predator just battle it out and just have some fun watching those two creatures designs just go at each other. And that's what you're here for. That's what you should expect. But the characters 
you can basically live without them because you're not there for them. And that's coming a lot for me because I usually put characters and story and stuff like that first. But when you go into this mood just for that, you can get rid of those characters. They don't need character development. You don't need that. And when they're talking about like this one guy with the camera on this on this movie, he's just like, oh yeah, I have two sons at home. He's just like, yeah, I don't care. Where are the aliens and predators? Why aren't they fighting? It's just like they're likable. I actually think they're interesting characters. I like them. But it's just like I'm here to see aliens and predators fight. Where the fuck is that? But now moving on to my negatives, and the biggest negative that I have for this movie is the PG-13 rating. This is bullshit. Where, when you think about this, an alien and a predator fighting, and you make it PG-13, and you tone down the violence to where when they kill the characters, it's not violent, they cut away from it, and the actual fight that we get with the aliens and predators, which shouldn't be very explicit because it's fake green glowing blood and acid, but it's just like, yeah, that makes sense. But when you actually have the predators and aliens killing people, and you have it cutting away to where we can't even see it, the fuck, man? And I did watch the unrated cut of this movie watching it, and that added jack shit. And I believe that movie, uh, that cut of the version of this movie actually adds seven minutes of the movie. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the unraid version only adds like seven minutes of the movie, which I don't think really does anything. But it's just like, dude, you have those two creatures fighting and you make it PG-13? Really? PG-13? I That really just kind of, you know, I would have really had this movie higher on my ranking if it just wasn't for that PG-13 rating. When I do my ranking, it's going to be kind of high on there, but it would probably be higher if it wasn't for the PG-13 ranking. My final negative is the CGI, and it mostly occurs with the aliens' movements to where they kind of look completely CGI to where there are moments to where you can tell that they're practical. You can tell that sometimes when they're killing people or when they're fighting the predator that they look practical. But out through this entire movie, I couldn't help but just see a lot of CGI, especially on the predators and like the Rome stuff going on in this movie to where they were showing flashbacks to that that you could tell that was completely CGI. And just certain parts of the movie, like the queen alien escaping and the queen alien fighting the predator, you can just tell CGI. Just that all the aliens are just CGI, and just it's just so noticeable, especially the fast movement of the xenomorphs. It just it really bugged me. It really did to where it kind of just took me out of the movie when I noticed it. I was just like, ew. All in all, guys, I really enjoy Alien vs. Predator. I have a lot of nostalgia for this movie because I remember when I was younger, I was hunting down this movie because when I found out there was an Alien vs. Predator movie, I'm like, give it to me now, Mom. I want that movie now, Mom. Mom never gave it to me, but my dad, who loves me so, bought me the movie. My mom does actually love me. I'm, I'm saying that as a joke. But yeah, I have a lot of nostalgia for Alien vs. Predator. This movie, just in general, is just a lot of fun. If you're an Alien fan, you're going to enjoy this movie. If you're a Predator fan, you're going to enjoy this movie. If you want to see the Alien and the Predator fight, you're definitely going to get a lot of it, but not too much. But it's just a damn good time, if you ask me. What do you guys think about Alien vs. Predator, or AVP, if you like to say that for sh for short? Let me know in the com uh, comments below, and we shall talk about it. Do you like this movie? Do you not like this movie? Is this one of your favorite Alien movies? Do you think this do you want is this one of your favorite Predator movies? Do you actually not like this movie because of its PG-13 ra uh, rating? Let me know in the comments below, and we shall talk about it. If you like this video, like it. If you love it, subscribe to the bell notification so you will get notified for all of my latest videos. And of course, until my next video, I'll see you all next time.